Hi hey guys, these are exciting times. Why am I saying that? Because the flexibility, the power just grew. You can build your own nemesis. Let me point out some changes in the website. We have put the build your own ISO just for the desktops, right? These are all our desktops that we provide. I've made it a little bit more in the order of importance. XL is there, XS, XL, LTS the D, left LBM, plasma, and then all the others. So this is build your own ISO. It's basically copy paste, git clone. This new thing is talking about the flexibility, the power. I've just made an Arclix XFCE ISO. So my own take on that's how I want XFCE to look like, right? So that's the, the thing, that's the power. You can have an ISO on your USB. You take anywhere and say, look, this is my thing. This is what I've created. And the same thing is shown here also with left WM. Now it's, it's never finished. An operating system, a desktop is never finished. There are some things that you want to change, right? So this is a continuation. I will put a the video in here. So building an Arclix XFC. So we've made some choices. Up there is the panel with some icons that we've put on there. And basically it's super simple if you think about it, but we've given you the scripts and that's not super simple, right? We've given you scripts, one, two, three, done. And it's installed. So this is a follow-up and let me show you what we've created. Super F7. First you do all of this in virtual machine, right? Whatever virtual machine you prefer. This is the system. Now, there were already things I said, don't like that, right? So, do I continue to create things? Of course. Do I need to create another package? If, you, if your plan is to become an ISO builder and make your own distribution, yeah, you should. Then you make a package for NeoFetch and a package for Alacrity and a package for this and a package for that. But we'll stick to the XFCE settings. I do Control Alt T and I see this. I don't know about you, but right, everything is personal perception and, and, and taste, but this is not what I like. So you can keep on adding things. One of the other things was the wallpaper that was not present there. So these things, if they bother you, you should do something about it because it's your ISO. So Super Shift Enter not going to work. There are no keyboard shortcuts in there. You like keyboard shortcuts? Fine, you have to put them in there. So we've done all that work for you. So this is the plain, plain arch, a pure XFC arch thing. What I would suggest is the following baby steps, which means control H, take a copy of that one. You have now a copy. Right mouse click, thank God we've copy pasted that over from XFCE, right? Right mouse click, compare. Sometimes you have to do it twice, a compare. And sometimes you still have to install it. <laughs> Let's see if it's installed. Terminal emulator. So you go, Pacman. What is this actually based on? ISO. Ah, ah. Ah, it's a very minimal XFCE. It's not the XL, no. So no GIMP, no GIMP, no, no Inkscape, uh -uh. and lots of other things that will not be available, right? It is another take on the matter. There is Firefox, yay. Okay, so that means, and in my case, and I, I intend to make some more videos about it, we have a small well, script, not even a script, a small, um, yeah, yeah, actually it's a script. You're launching, it's not an alias, it's actually a script that you launch. And basically it says, go get the stuff that I need, which is sublime text, which is the changes, the PT there, and there is, which is melt. Voila, I've got it. I can explain things to people. So right mouse click, compare. You don't want to see what's the same. Ah, that's the only thing that's different, yeah. Now this is something special, just a quick word about it. It's a database, you can't open it really. 
um, and it's it contains for example if you would have blank the settings of blank are in there some of the applications don't write to a file which is so much easier but to this particular database so that's what you need to get then and put it on your packages and put it on the ISO so now I'm gonna change things so the deconf is not for us not in this particular video necessary Control T beautiful but what if and then we go right and then we create and that's the fun of making your own thing do you want a scroll bar no do you want a limited rollback yes do you want a cursor an eye beam an underline let's do an underline something different as an article next what else scroll and output i don't recall which one should be the correct one i can check it later on on my article next because it's annoying one of the options is annoying it should either be off or on use system font models this one Bois, yeah. it's a bit smaller allow bold text fine display menu bar no background use solid color ah transparent background how about this uh -uh. something like that okay 50 of 85 uh 58 uh, let's play a bit bigger it's it's always a little bit too small i believe if you, there's some text here so a little bit longer and some more columns both of them coloring Wah, low presets okay just nice well others right choose gonna go back a little bit darker now with this coloring system okay colors compatibility advanced never changed anything there close Ctrl alt t better bigger better f12 keyboard shortcuts are drop down non-existent it's a keyboard shortcut you don't set it it's not there anyway that's choices right so we've done something do we want it on our system yes 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 we want to have it on our package so you go compare and you see ah that particular code is in here and in here i can't zoom in and zoom out guys i can probably go to the dot config and the xfce and uh, is it in here terminal rc yep yep all of these things the settings we've just clicked and and how big it should be and all that it's now in there so if we update our system okay like so it looks like this fine how do i get that this on my system option one you git clone the package that you have on the virtual machine and push back eh? git clone git pull one option do we need this guy no we don't need this guy can i get it via this let's have a look machine file manager i'm eric and my password is eric aha i'm in there yes you are and now let's maybe make this um, easier for myself what do i mean i'm gonna copy paste this one to the desktop voila and just to make it easy because then i go to home eric and on desktop and it's already there where is desktop that's the one the file that i need i'll put also on my desktop so home eric desktop so from here to here little arrow boom well it's out of my virtual box 
and if it's too big or something you first tar gz it compress it and put it there so we're now out of the virtual machine so basically i don't need this but let's all keep it open and then we go to control h desktop this thing terminal c control x it needs to go it needs to go in my package it needs to go in my package which means it needs to go to edu xfce etc scale control h config xfce and then i'm lost right i'm lost i look at my own system and i see at the structure what folders am i missing so i could have copy pasted everything over it's terminal so I should go inside XFCE, check. I should make a folder called terminal, check. And terminal RC should be in there, check. Right? Close all files. Okay, this can be closed. So this is our package. And now, of course, for the lazy guys under us, right? Quick tip. This contains a dot config, right? Control A, Control C, Control V. Don't, but it will work. <laughs> Might conflict with other packages of Arcanix, so hashtag and hashtag, 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 all these things out because for example we have a paru file we have a um, what else a rofi folder we have qt5ct there we have uh, ob menu generator there we have um, nano there we have so many folders and packages that will conflict so that's not the right approach baby steps is what i suggest and then you won't make mistakes so the only thing we've done is the terminal. Not the only thing, it's a super important thing because I was uh, dreading my own system. I want to have a nice XFC terminal. So write your commit. Nice XFCE because there are so many others. Terminal. And then you work on your system then you decide to i'm missing this i'm missing that i'm missing this and this is how articles grew right over four years we were working on our system and we didn't like something and said, okay next time around it has to be there by default i don't want to be to set all the keyboards shortcuts again and and so on and so on that's a smart approach i think data if that's online i did push it online you can quickly check by pushing again and do sometimes like this test test push or something i call it and this will never go to the internet because everything was up to date but sometimes i did a space or tap or something changed and then you see in the comment test push data and then we're gonna build these things builds means package builds oh forgot totally to push the package build for you guys so there you have it number one i guess here okay update well you see all the changes here another change will be this guy we're gonna build it number two always up the number even if it's on your not on your uh, repo online but don't, it doesn't doesn't cost a penny the pacman hates it when you keep the same number Okay, it's finished, it's on the Nemesis repo. We go to the Nemesis repo, make your own repository, it's super fun. It's not, the, not difficult, I mean an hour work or less, less I think. Nemesis repo, find the video, do it, have fun. Hold on. So here it says removing, always check what happens here. So this is delete, check. And this is create check number two great now the only thing we need to do and that's then your pure uh, did i close it 
your um, let's close this close I can't, stop. can't seem to close this thing here for some reason close it doesn't like to close anyway the only thing we have to do is to wait we have to sit it out update okay nothing to update right remember the pseudo pacman minus s and then still nemesis so it still thinks it's number one there this can go and he'll write whatever script is running on github i have to be patient and that's not my forte so if this is the first time you looked at this thing this is how it looks now we've changed the little chameleon up there and these are our icons and a wallpaper and did some appearance things here no themes hardly right no themes just admin scan the beauty but it's actually the teller that we want and that's the dependent so this depends on that one i do see the name change so i can change the edu candy beauty teller in name a little bit more information how is that done data edu teller so icons can be beauty index team we do want to comment uh, well to, to give credit to the teller developer so teller plus teller folder icons safe well so next time i built it uh, because of other things or i can build it now but don't forget to push you can change all you want locally if you don't push it to the internet nothing changes name description if you build it if you push it you haven't built it so you need to build it to the always a new number number eight save stop build another package goes to the repo which means go up go up go to the repo and run the up don't have an up here i have an up in arclex seven is out eight is in read the lines everything checked okay cool cool go and let's see do you have enough time to show me the next one now so here it is zero two finally found it right the other one is still in process <laughs> so we'll have to wait for the other one so this is edu xfce kit it's going to be the same approach as arclex we don't write to the home directory we never write to the home directory we write to the etc scale so you need to scale this is your thing right and then we better log out i guess super x right super x beautiful button it's not working log out log out login oh how nice oh by god beautiful 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 never seen this small this is great right never seen it this small ah restart no restart go cool. It is and it stays a virtual machine. But if your ISO is, is ready, then you'll surely you will use it to install your real metal thing, right? So I, I'm not sure if I did a scale. I did a scale, yeah. The, okay, voila, another scale. <laughs> but you saw already, it works, right? It works, and that's the fun. And um, now from now on, my terminal is gonna look great awesome until next week and then you decide to have another theme you make another package or you want another font you take another package and that's great 
to have that much flexibility on your over your operating system change anything you see that's linux all right have fun let me look where he is there he is cheers